One of the first missions in Destiny involves our fledgling guardians obtaining a warp drive for their ship so they can travel to any planet or moon. This warp drive achieves the impossible and allows them faster than light travel so far off places can be reached in a matter of seconds. But how fast are the ships in Destiny? Let's crunch some numbers and find out. Alright, to find the speed of an object, we need to find the distance the object traveled and divide it by the time it took to travel that distance. That's simple enough. Let's start with a journey to the moon and see if we travel faster than light. On average, the moon is roughly 384,400 kilometers away from the Earth. And now we just need to measure how long it takes to get to the moon from Earth. Now of course, in-game travel time is going to be a controversial measurement. The time it takes for each location to load is different depending on a few variables. Time of day, number of members in a fire team, your internet connection, etc, etc, etc. So the numbers aren't going to be completely reliable, but it's what we've got to work with, so let's roll with it. In order to get a more accurate measurement, I traveled to the moon 5 times and averaged out the loading times, which came to 23.62 seconds. So we divide 384,400 by that time, and we get a speed of 16,274 kilometers a second, which is blazing fast, but isn't as fast as light. The speed of light is about 300,000 kilometers a second, so our trip to the moon isn't breaking the light barrier. But surely we can think of a way to do it. What if we travel from the location closest to the sun to the location furthest from the sun? Well, Mercury is a limited but visitable area, and we've established a beachhead on the dreadnought around Saturn. Why don't we see if the journey from Mercury to Saturn is faster than light? We'll start with our distances. On average, Mercury is about 58 million kilometers away from the Sun. And on average, Saturn is about 1,433,000,000 kilometers from the Sun. Since our journey is starting from Mercury, we need to subtract its distance from the Sun from Saturn's distance from the Sun to find the rough average distance between the two planets, which is about 1,375,000,000 kilometers. Now that we have the distance traveled, we need the time. Traveling from Mercury to the Dreadnought 5 times and averaging out the loading times gives a total of 28.76 seconds. Dividing the distance with this time gives an estimated speed of about 47,809,457 kilometers a second, which is an incredible speed, surpassing light by a tremendous amount. That's pretty good, but I think we can do even better. Here's an idea. We can take the two furthest locations available to us, Mars and Saturn, and put them at opposite ends of their respective orbits. That would give us the furthest possible distance we can travel in our ships. Because of the elliptical orbits of the planets, the two planets are furthest apart when Saturn is furthest from the Sun and Mars is closest to the Sun. Adding these distances together gives a total distance of about 1,721,120,000 kilometers. Then we need to get our super accurate times. Traveling 5 times and averaging out the totals gives an average of 24.16 seconds. We divide the distance by the time and we get a speed of 71,238,410 kilometers a second. That's pretty amazing, but of course, these are speeds that are unreachable in real life. You know, since it's physically impossible. But it's cool to imagine how different space travel could be if it was possible. Far off worlds would finally be seen with human eyes. And for the first time, the universe wouldn't seem so big, but instead would seem to get much smaller. Thank you for watching and see you later. You may be surprised to learn that the reef in Destiny is actually a real place. It's located in the asteroid belt that sits in between Mars and Jupiter. 